Hey guys, it's Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric here today. I want to show you how to diagnose an electrical system for a house for smoke detectors. Um, simply use a 60 watt light bulb like this. You can use a voltage meter, um, but it doesn't put a load on the system. So sometimes voltage meters are not the best way to do this. I uh, do not advise you to do this if you do not know what you're doing, nor are you licensed. Um, I always test things hot. I wire pretty much 90% of what I do hot. Uh, every time I do a remodel or I do any kind of um, work in a home, I make sure things are unplugged, of course, so I don't short out something on the uh, down on the load side of it, like a computer or TV. But I do test everything hot. Uh, simply just trying to figure out, is our pressure correct in this home? Uh, one of the complaints was is that the smoke detectors were just firing off, um, though they changed the batteries. That would indicate to me possibly that they're losing voltage. So we're just going to use this to test our black and white so we know we have 120 here. So as you can see that light up, I know I've got pressure here. Now the other two connections, I realized that they were loose. And as I changed out those smoke detectors, um, that'll cause an issue. I had a black wire that was completely loose and a white wire. I don't know if that was just jumping off to an outlet or something, but uh, I did see also a red wire loose as well, which would also um, have an issue with signaling the other ones if one of them decided to go off. They do have to be twisted up very tight, neck to neck, and those collars to be stripped on the insulation uh, right at the same spot. So if you have three wires in there, you gotta make sure that those are tight and they're making a good connection and you have the proper size wire cap as well, which would be a red for three number 14s or even an almond would work fine. Now I wanna show you a trick here I just learned. Um, I wanna to try to signal these smoke detectors without even pushing the button on the smoke detector because the smoke detector button is, it's great. It's like a GFCI. I mean, you hit the button, it trips, that's fine. But to truly know if a smoke detector is working like a GFCI, you gotta do it on the load side to see if it'll react right at that component, that device that's supposed to react at that moment, all right? I'm going to touch my red. You can see I have a really dim light there compared to the, the, the white and the black, my ungrounded and grounded conductor. And I'm going to tap it and let it go. And if you heard that, it's waiting for a pulse. There you go. I finally got it to react by touching the black and red. Now I did that through a light bulb, which is a resistance of 60 watts. So the ohms on that, the resistance on that, I guess you'd have to do your math on that, which would be um, wattage equaling 60 and your voltage being 120. So I'm assuming the resistance would be maybe around 0.2.